Yeah. Daily graphic, what are they all the saying? The says, I saw leadership in Baumia okay. the first time I met him. Uh, so That's coming in from former president John Ejekumku, for who is seen here in a handshake with um, Dr. Baumia, who appears to be on his knee mm. uh, as he's greeting uh, the respected former president. Mm -hmm. Also, Baumia for President 2024, my manifesto is coming. Okay. And when John 316 takes on Ba. BMW. BMW. Yeah. So B is what? Baumia. Ah, okay. BMW. M is must. Ah, and okay. the W, they say must win. Oh, I see. And okay. then, so John 316 is the third John. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I see. Yeah. The stakes, we are told, are high. <laughs> okay. The Daily Graphic says, public scrutinizes Baumia's vision. Mm. So that's a very interesting one on the front page of the Daily Graphic. We'll mm. get into that. Organized Labor says, we won't engage government on electricity VAT. Okay. And they do a con the, the daily graphic is doing a constituency watch on the EFIA constituency, and they call it a heterogeneous community. Okay. And on the back page of the daily graphic, they have some sports, and they say elephants coach in dreamland okay. after Afghan final birth. MS Fi amazing is, uh, is in sharp focus. Oh, on the, the story is just amazing. I tell the Canadian Times says this morning: disclose funding sources. Something we were talking about mm -hmm. a couple of uh, weeks ago. Ghana anti-corruption coalition demands as it pushes political parties to promote campaign finance transparency, protect integrity. Of the electoral process as well. Also, Asante Hene, mm -hmm. as you have stated, received first batch Fantastic. of looted regalia Shout. from the University of California. So Thank this you. one is coming in from your Straight up. Yeah, yeah, from, yeah, uh, yeah. The other one is from ah, uh, So the Buckingham one will come yet. No, no, no. This no, no this like, maybe it's here. Yeah, uh, ah. <laughs> Charlie? I will encourage Ghanaians to have mindset of possibilities. Okay. How easy is talking here on okay. the front page? Uh, of the Ghanaian Times. Okay. Well, you, one of the papers said uh, John Kufo was describing Dr. Baumia as a man of destiny. It's mm -hmm. the same thing on the front page of, of the guy. Daily Guide. Okay. Another story is mm. though, John, no, sorry, not John, Guta President Hills poor taxes reforms. Okay. And former youth and sports minister dies in India, the oh, late yeah. Dr. Mustafa Ahmed. He's yeah. passed on. Uh, Kaswa, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Kaswa Meda, hmm. suspect demands DNA test, hmm. and Menshia holds 150th Sagrenti War oh. Deba. Mm. Okay, let me take you to the daily searchlight, critiquing DMB part one. Okay. Baumia forgot a Greek, the oh. economy's biggest player. Hmm. That's uh, Ken Kranti's... Uh, Ango. Yeah, okay. taking on uh, Dr. Baumia. Okay. Uh, also, 2024 election. Give mm. Baumia a chance. Former President John Kufu is talking here. And Dr. Baumia promises to establish Ghana School Sports Secretariat to aid sports development. Okay. Now, the Herald says John Mahama promises probe into $300 million mess at PBC. Okay. And uh, they also have a take on John Kufo, but their angle is very different. They say, John Kufo publicly abandons Alan Chermating, oh. declares support for Baumia. Oh. So that's oh. what they're saying. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Accra okay. Newtown residents okay. cry over location of fuel station. Mm -hmm. And GRA dances around 3.9 billion CD import duty umpires with Cocoa Board. And finally, for me, the new finder has the story, Baumia's 70-point agenda mm. to propel Ghana into the fourth Industrial Revolution. And Dr. Baumia is here on the front page smiling. Right. BOG acted decisively to save the economy. Again, they are quoting Dr. Baumia. And Dr. N.S. Addison is here on the front page. And Asanteman gather at Mansha to commemorate Segranti War. Right. right. And the Republic Press finally... Mm -hmm. No, I okay. have two papers okay. here. Republic Press says Ghana is at a crossroads. Kufo admits as he endorses Baumia. Okay. Uh, the president is addressing or has addressed the Grenadan parliament mm. as he hosts bilateral meetings with Prime Minister Mitchell. NPP comes director slams GJA over blacklisting of Hawa Kumsin, mm. Farouk Mahama. That's on page six of the Republic Press. Okay. And is and that the final one? No. Okay. Alan Tremantin says NDC and NPP have nothing better to offer Ghanaians. Right. And then finally for me, the Inquisitor says, bragging and influence peddling. Mm -hmm. NSA boss exposed mm -hmm. using chief of staff's name. Illegal stay in office. Treat Amish like you did to Kofi in tea, finance minister told. 
And Afenyamaki makes strong case for lighter custodial sentence on promotion of LGBTQ activities. Okay, let's go online quickly, citynewsroom.com. It will be difficult for Baumia to scrap E-Levy if elected as president. Professor Gachi is predicting and Afenyamaki opposes custodial sentences for LGBTQ plus activities. I am committed to helping NPP break the eight address of his speaking here. Be a man. Own up to your failed EMT policies. Ato forcing jabs Baumia. And Baumia's national service status irrelevant. Gideon Boako is speaking here. And John Mahama says, you can't run away from your mess. Accept responsibility. Mahama rebukes uh, Baumia. And if we go to myjoyonline.com, Asante Hine calls for unity, emphasizing failed attempts to destroy the Asante kingdom. Body of Dr. Ahmed to be brought home. Minority is speaking here. Meda Botre. Meda Botre. Court adjourned, adjourns case to February 13, uh, said to Institute Panel. 15-year-old inspires him to develop anti-sleep device for drivers and no MPP member can be exonerated from current economic mess. Mahama is speaking in his words, them all day inside. If you go to classfmonline.com, my <coughs> minister's deputies will not exceed 15. AFCON, I, AFCON 2023, Ivory Coast Spirit praised after roller coaster run to final and market women bare teeth at MCE over eviction. If you go down there, bit, structures along shoulders of Adentan Dodua Road demolished as two lane uh, takes off. And then uh, we jump to the BBC. My memory is fine. Joe Biden heads back at special counsel. US says it will not back and plan Rafa offensive. And Zelensky sacks Ukraine's commander in chief. These are stories making headlines on the BBC. Let's go into the details of the papers okay, now. Okay, so yeah. let me take you to the Ghanaian Times. There are two uh, different pieces I want to bring to your attention. The first one says, disclose funding sources. Mm -hmm. um, they are telling um, political parties, and this is the uh, anti-corruption uh, coalition. Now, the story is by Jonathan Donko. Um, on page 8 of the Ghanaian Times, and it says, the Ghana Anti-Corruption uh, Coalition is advocating an amendment of the Political Parties Act of 2000, mm. Act 574, mm. to include the disclosure of funding sources for presidential and parliamentary candidates. Now, currently, the law mandates political parties to submit their audited financial uh, accounts to the Electoral Commission, which is then made public. However, the Executive Secretary of the Coalition, Beauty, Nate uh, points out that actual campaign funds often bypass these official accounts and are independently managed by candidates. Now, at a capacity building workshop for journalists in Accra on Wednesday, she said amending the law would prevent foreign entities or individuals from funding the mm. parties. Now, if you move from there, I'm yeah. not so sure how amending the law will stop them from... I was going to ask you because... The people, they are doing their thing. <laughs> they go sit on a plane to exactly. Abuja, uh, Benin. How are you uh, going to... You know, all these places. And when they come back, you know, they come <laughs> with all kinds of bags. Ghana must go and nothing. Exist. Nobody's looking into the bags. It's a, a challenge on yeah, it's, it's a challenge. <laughs> very, very dicey. Yeah. Meanwhile, if you go to um, page four of the Ghanaian Times, there's an editorial that says... Political Parties Act 2000, and 2000 truly needs amendment. So they are supporting mm. the view expressed by the Ghana Anti-Corruption uh, Coalition right. because they say, for instance, in their concluding paragraphs, that this conversation must be sustained until some change is achieved. Mm. Otherwise, the country's democracy is jeopardized. Besides, the public press will continue to suffer as uh, politicians who pay huge sums to secure power would explore all diabolic means to recoup their money, usually through inflating the cost of public projects, diversion of public funds, and all manner of embezzlement. Mm. We do not need only a broad-based law, but also one enforced, and which serves as a deterrent to check corruption among political parties and politicians. Parliament should give urgent attention to the call for amendment of act. Five seven four. Okay, let's switch to graphic now, Nathan. Well, the bigger story on the front page of the Daily Graphic has mm -hmm. to do with the vice president. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, two days after he rolled out his vision at the UPSC auditorium, there are some reactions. Now, the Daily Graphic 
has been um, collating some of these reactions. And the reactions have come from several quarters. So they are the political players, people in civil society, yeah. and some academics yeah. who, have, who have all expressed a level of or some disagreement with the vice president on some of the things he wants to do. So things like E-Levy and all of that, some people are disagreeing with the vice president. And if you read the, the story on the front page and pages 3 and pages 26, there are several angles there, including one that is from the dean of the business school of the UCC, who's saying that the vice president cannot exonerate himself from the current economic difficulties we are experiencing. Now, the other thing I want to mention from the Daily Graphic is on pages 14 and 15. Mm. Toby Apeda, the 14th, yes. uh, they have uh, published a piece he wrote on the 26th of December, 2023, mm. titled, The Bank of Ghana Has Failed Us. <clears throat> now, he's speaking from his financial knowledge perspective, and mm -hmm. he talks about the areas where he believes the Bank of Ghana erred, and he's highlighted that in a very extensive write-up covering two pages of the daily graphic. Meanwhile, if you go to the new finder, mm. the BOG is being um, celebrated by Dr. Baumia for decisively <laughs> saving the economy. Now, if you want to um, read the details of that story, go to page 9 of the paper, okay. and uh, the details are there. If you wouldn't mind, let me just give you um, nice. what do you call it, uh, two yeah. paragraphs from that story. Flag bearer of um, the New Patriotic Party, Dr. Mahamudu Baumia, has praised the Bank of Ghana for its proactive measures in rescuing Ghana's economy from the brink of collapse during challenging times. Now, addressing a public lecture at the University of Professional Studies in Accra, Dr. Baumia commended the Central Bank for responsibly providing vital financing to sustain the economy during critical moments but if you go to the chronicle there's um something i want to draw your attention to uh it has to do with extreme weather conditions mm. in accra mm. and you know i've been talking about let us continue wearing our nose mask <laughs> and and if, in fact when children are going to school please do your best to, to, yeah. to add nose marks uh you know to their things so that when they, they can wear it properly because yeah. the weather is by when you wake up in the morning look at your vehicle oh yes so much dust on your feet. Exactly. Yeah, now, that is what we are inhaling. Imagine all of that going into exactly. our stomach. Yes. Yeah. And, you know, and, and yeah. our nostrils all too are open like that. So, please. <laughs> and some of you are removing the, the what do you call it? The hair. Diana uh, Yeah, so because we oh, were yeah. fashion. <laughs> fashion. <laughs> so, everything is going in there. So, yeah. I beg you. Yeah. If you can, yeah. please wear the nose yeah, the mask. mask right? uh -huh, because mm -hmm. the Chronicle is saying that yeah. they're calling on the EPA to take proactive steps to safeguard our health during this challenging period by embracing responsible behavior and advocating for sustainable environmental practices. Mm -hmm. We can navigate Hamatan, the Hamatan season with resilience and fortitude, ensuring a cleaner, healthier future for generations to come. Right. <clears throat> Nathan. Page six of um, the Daily Guide. Uh, Menshia holds 150th Sagrenti War Deba. Nice. Now, Vice President Dr. Baumia and former President John Mahama yesterday stormed, in the Daily Guide's mm -hmm. own words, the Menshia Palace in Kumasi for the commemoration of the 150th anniversary of the Sagrenti War. The two dignitaries were among a sea of people who attended the Grand Deba in remembrance of the Sagrenti War, which was fought in 1870. Four, and the historic occasion saw the Asante Henotun for Seti to the second, mm -hmm. second sitting in state at the uh, uh, Daubrim, I think, at Menshia for foreign dignitaries and local dignitaries mm. to pay homage to him. Now, the, uh, the story also goes on to touch on the jewels or the artifacts that were yes. returned. And it says the high point of the event was when the Asante crown jewels that were taken to the USA after the Sagrenti War were presented <laughs> to the Asante Hene mm -hmm. at the Deba grounds. An emotional looking Otunfo was seen beaming with smiles as he finally touched the historic Asante objects. Mm -hmm. And the objects were taken through the, um, the Deba grounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, he expressed happiness over the return of the crown jewels, pointing out that the historic objects were taken mm -hmm. from Asante unjustifiably in 1824. Yeah. Oh, I see. Good. Wow, that's a good one. That's yes, a good one. yes. Very Wonderful. Very good. Okay. So let's uh, turn our attention to some other stories. There's a story in the Ghanaian Times um, of someone allegedly selling 
um, land in a fraudulent manner. Mm. Now, the story is on page three of the Ghanaian Times, and it says, Trader in trouble over alleged 270,000 Ghana City fraudulent land uh, transaction. Now, the circuit court, uh, Accra, has uh, remanded a trader in police custody for allegedly selling land without title situated at Kwabenya, Accra, to a farmer for 270,000 Ghana cities. Now, the wow. court did not take the plea of Mohamed Awal, Munkaila, who was charged with fraudulent land transaction. Munkaila will appear again uh, in court on February 21, 2024, before the court to be presided over by Mr. Isaac Ohiniba Kufu. Now, it goes on to give you further details. Also, in, in, in the same story, uh, in the same uh, newspaper, we're told Jachi Kwesen's petition against the Attorney General mm. has been dismissed okay. by the court hearing his case. And then also, security man remanded for alleged theft mm. and unlawful entry. All those on the page dedicated to court matters in okay. the end time. Now, let me take you online briefly. Citynewsroom.com, Professor Gachi is saying it will be difficult for... Uh, Dr. Baumia to scrap E. Levy if elected president. Quick highlight an economist, Professor Gachi, says the flag bearer of the new patriotic party, Dr. Mahmoud <coughs> Baumia, will not be able to scrap the taxes on electronic financial transactions, also known as E. Levy, as proposed if he is elected president of Ghana. Uh, now, reacting to the flag bearer's proposal, Professor John Gachi said fulfilling it would be a challenge as the levy was introduced by the government to generate revenue as part of requirements by the International Monetary Fund, IMF, for the grant of an extended credit facility. Now, Penyo Marking is on the same website saying that um, he's objecting to a custodial sentence for individuals found culpable of <coughs> engaging in LGBTQ plus activities. Mm. Uh, yesterday, Parliament approved a three to five year jail term for individuals who willfully promote or sponsor LGBTQ activities while those caught in the act are to be sentenced to a minimum of six months and a maximum of three years. And uh, during a clause-by-clause clause amendment of the bill on the promotion of proper human rights and proper human sexual rights and Ghanaian family values, Mr. Fenyo Markin stated that the punitive action would not aid in the rehabilitation of the uh, corporate. Now, if you go... To the U.S. Mm. at the moment, U.S. President Joe Biden has angrily criticized an investigation that found he mishandled top secret files and said he struggled to recall key life events. In, in a, fact, we, we in need a to... surprise <laughs> news briefing on Thursday <laughs> evening, Mr. Biden insisted, "My memory is fine." You see, you yes. see, you see, you see the the the, 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 the memory the, is fine. The seeming case of double standards. Yeah. Yeah. They are prosecuting. Yes. Or they intend to prosecute Donald Trump. Yes. Because they said they found some <laughs> secret files, yes. you know, in his uh, Mar 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 Lago place. Yes. And that he was caught allegedly on tape yes. talking to someone or bragging to someone who yes. was not cleared yes. to have access, or, you know, talking to them about classified information. Yes. Now, in this case, he said this one has forgotten everything. Now, he says his memory is fine. Oh, but now he's saying with you. So I may be near 90, but my memory is fine. I think we should, you see, the law should be to should be operated in a very evil, even, even uh, manner. Uh, no, but the law is being employed in an evil manner. You see, you see. <laughs> <laughs> He said, wait, the investigation found that he mishandled. Yes, but he says that he is not true, that, that his memory, memory is fine. Is fine. Yo, yeah, that's, that's from the side of the <laughs> US. So, thank you, Sky. Thank you, Nathan. That was a newspaper review.